Hello everybody. So today we are going to see the topic on spool administration. This is a very important topic. As a SAP Business Consultant, you need to know how to configure the printers on local machine as well as you need to know how to configure on your SAP system. So basically here we use the transaction code SPAD for configuring printers output devices and for monitoring the printers we use SP01. So now if you see in this slide from print file to print out you can see the situation A, B, C. This is a general concept of how a print goes as the user requests to the output devices. In situation A, spool request and output request are created simultaneously. Means it will print immediately once a we send a request to printer. In situation B, an output request is created for spool request immediately after the spool request is created. So this output request is then printed on a device. Later, a user creates two additional output requests for the same spool request. So these two output requests are printed on two different devices. On situation C, only a spool request is created as nothing is to be printed because there is no output request, no output device, nothing. So this is a general layout of how the spool request be created. Now, in this layout, it's very important to know about the status in a spool request as what the minus sign indicate. It's nothing but not yet sent to the host system for printing. Means when the user send a request for printing, if it show minus means it has not sent to the host system for printing. Similarly, if you see on the plus sign, it says spool request is still being generated. On in waiting, if you see the output request is awaiting processing by the spool system and has not yet been sent to the host system. So in in waiting, as I told, like in the work processes, there will be a minimum one spool work processes. So if more than one user are trying to print at the same time, then what the dispatcher will do, it will hold the other user in a waiting in a queue so once the user who printed given the print request first it will get printed so in the proc is nothing but processing the spool work process is formatting the output request for printing so if there are a lot of print lot of pages have been printed so you know uh, we can set for cleaning the all the print request. So there is a background job, a standard background job. We usually delete all, format all the print request. Now print, the start of the print is nothing but the output request is being printed by the host system spooler. If the R by through R by three spool system cannot get status information from the host spooler this status appear for approximately one minute the status is then set to complete or error means when you give the print it will pop up a menu saying that the print is under processing so we don't know whether it will be complete or it could give an error so if it gives an error that means your printer is not configured properly so 
it's through an error. Similarly, if it is completed, then the message will come that the output request has been successfully printed. Now, as I said, like usually a lot of uh, issues arise in a company for printer. I mean, like users will raise the request saying that I cannot able to print to this printer. I cannot able to print uh, some issues maybe. So you need to, you as a CV basis consultant, you need to know how to solve that issue. So problem will be minor, problem will, problems will be major. So problems indicates a minor problem such as characters missing from a character set, right? The output request was printed, but probably contains printing errors. So what happened basically, like for say you are trying to print on A4 size, right? But it's printing on different format. So in this, what happened, the user doesn't know because he, he doesn't have the technical knowledge, but he just want the printer on that page what he was suggesting. So you as a SAV business consultant, you need to get the information from the user what exactly he is trying to print on which paper size. So you can go and set the printer size for that particular user. And if you see in uh, if the printer indicate a severe problem such as a network problem. So what happens sometimes network problem might arise. IP is conflicting or IP is um, is not uh, pinging properly to the printer. So there is a network problem from printer to your machine. So this could be a severe problem. So you as a basis consultant need to know whether it is from the IT team or from SAP itself. Okay. So this is how the status shows in the spool request. So as a SAP business consultant, you have to know each and everything about the status, about the monitoring of spool administration and the devices used in the SAP. So in our next session, we will be going to see more about the printing, like how to create and how to monitor. Thank you so much for attending this session. Bye.